everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Jewelry Canada. Today we are going to be making a beaded ring and we're gonna start that in just a moment. Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Jewelry Canada. Today we are going to be making a beaded ring. You're gonna need a feature bead and then some, these are 10 knot seed beads. You're gonna need some scissors, a lighter, and some monofilament. Today I'm using eight pound. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start by pulling off about two feet of the monofilament. Okay, I'd rather have too much than not enough. Okay. Now this ring is going to be a fairly easy ring to make. So it's something that you can make, um, you know, if you're going to a craft sale or you, and you want some, some inexpensive things for people to buy, you can do this. Um, if you choose to do more expensive beads, you know, that's fine. And you can make them all different sizes. Okay, so we're going to start by taking your feature bead and we're going through the hole, okay? And now we're gonna put three beads. See how I have my, my ends here? We're gonna put three beads on each end. One, oops, come on now, two, three. I missed. And that's not black. <laughs> I dropped my bead box and so my beads are quite often mixed up. Okay, so there you go. Three on that side. And now we're going to do three on the other. One. Okay, let those three on the one side fall so that you don't lose them. And we'll just keep that. I got the one bead there. Oh my goodness. There we go. I'm working around a camera, guys, so please bear with me. Okay, so I've got three on that side. So now we're gonna take all those down Holding your ends, we're going to take them all down, okay? And you're going to have this at one end, okay? Now what we're going to do is going back to our ends, we're going to put two beads on one of our ends. One, two beads, okay. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those two beads and with our other end, we're gonna go in the do opposite direction. There we go, through the two beads. So see, now we have one, end coming out this way and one end coming out that way. We're going to bring all that down. Okay, so this is one side of your ring. Your ring will sit like that. Okay, so now we're going to put two, en two beads on each end. Okay, so let me just show you. Let me get my ends together and uh, we'll get them threaded. So, one, two, and then 
and two. Whoop, oh, and I missed two. Two. Okay, we let those fall. And then we're taking two and we're putting it on one end. And again, <clears throat> it doesn't matter. Sorry, too close. It doesn't matter which thread you, which end you put the two on at this point. Okay, we're going to turn it so our working end is facing this way. And we're taking this one and we're putting it in the opposite direction through the same two beads. Okay, and then we're going to take all that down to the bottom. And you're going to repeat this until it goes around your finger. Okay, a little bit less than around your finger. <clears throat> So do that and meet me back. So this is as long as I want it, okay? So to measure it on myself, I would put it on and bring it, whoops, without distorting the beads. Okay, so see, I wanted it to not quite touch so now I'm going to close up my ring. So what you're going to do is <laughs> find your end. <laughs> Don't drop it like I did. There we go. Okay, so we're going to have our two ends. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to put three beads on each end. One, geez, I keep going out of focus. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, my goodness. One, two, and I need one more on that. Jeez Louise, the struggle is real today. <laughs> it's working around the camera. It's being a challenge. There, so I got three on this one. And now I'm going to put three on this one. Hopefully, it's not quite so difficult. Holy. One. Two. Three. Okay. Okay, so we're bringing those down, okay? So now what you're doing is without twisting your work, you're gonna bring the feature bead back up and we're gonna go through the feature bead. Now make sure your work is not twisted. So we're going through the feature bead one way. And then oh so going through the feature bead this way our thread is coming out this way so this thread I have to find the end okay so this one my goodness, this is so much harder when you're working around a camera. So this one's coming this way. So this one has to go through this way. Okay. So we're going to pull that. 
Make sure everything stays how it's supposed to be. There we go. Sorry, I got tangled. And there we go. So now we've got this. Okay, this is what we want. Okay, now this is where we're gonna be doing some fancy work. So with this thread, we are gonna go down these three beads. Okay, so we went through two. We're going to go through this one. And you may have to move your beads around and that's okay. Come on now. See how I'm kind of manipulating my beads? I want to go through the bead, not between the beads. So I'm trying to go through this bead right here. There we go. Okay. So we're going through that. Okay, and this one we're this one we're kind of just holding tight and out of the way. So we're down here, we're down here, and we're gonna go through those two beads. Okay, so once again, we're gonna move that out of the way. We're going through these two beads, okay? Oops, just the two. Okay, so we're gonna put that. So we went down those three and we're going out those two. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. We're gonna go down those three and through these two. So we'll be sitting on the other side. Do that, meet me back. Okay, so you have a thread coming out here and you have a thread coming out here. We're gonna work with this thread, okay? We're gonna pick up one bead and if you wanted to change colors to make it a little bit more interesting, you could do that. Um, I'm not going to. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fill this space. So we have the one bead, right? We're gonna go through these two beads. Okay, so see, I'm coming out here and we're gonna pull that tight and see that bead filled that space. You're gonna do this about halfway of the ring and then you're gonna do it on the other side to halfway of the ring and then you're gonna pull them nice and tight and you're just, just gonna keep going till you get to the other side. So do that, meet me back. Okay, so I got all the way to the end and I've threaded on a bead. Can you see it? There you go. So now what I'm gonna do is just like on the other side, I'm gonna go through Sorry, I'm going to go through these two beads at the top. Okay, see how I went through those two? Okay. We're going to pull that through. Pop it in and you'll feel it kind of pop in. And now we're going to thread a bead on the other th thread. And then we're going to go through those same, sorry, I'm just going to move that out of the way. We're going to go through those same two beads. So we're going through those other two, those same two beads from this side. I go under. Let's try that again. I may not be able to do this around the camera. Oh, there we go. I got them. Let's just make sure I got them. I got them through both. Are they coming out? Or did I go behind? No, nope, I went through. Okay, good. So then we're going to pull that and we're going to feel a little pop when it goes into space. Okay. So now, 
our working thread is coming through here, correct? See, it's coming out here. So we are gonna start our knots, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to go between the beads. So but we're coming out between the big bead and the little seed beads. We're not going through any beads. Okay, we're gonna make ourselves a loop. See, I've got this loop here. We're gonna make sure our monofilament is where we want it. We're gonna go through the monofilament loop once, and then we're gonna, from the same direction, go through it twice. Okay, now we have to guide our knot. So I want our knot to end up right here, okay? So I'm, I'm making sure that that's where the monofilament is sitting, and then I'm gonna pull tight. Okay, so do you see my little, little knot there? Okay, so we're pulling that tight. Now we are going to work our way through these three beads, one, two, three, right there, okay? Do that, meet me back. Okay, so I've worked it through those three beads. See, I have a loop here, and I'm gonna pull it tight. And when you pull it tight, you'll feel it pop, and you know what that is? That is your knot going into the beads. So now I want you to do the same on the other side. So I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna turn my work. So you're going between the big bead and the seed beads, you're gonna pull it through, make a little loop. Go through the loop once. Go through the loop twice. Okay. Then you're gonna make sure you have it down where you want, okay? So we want it down in this corner right at the bottom on this side of those three beads okay so we've got it placed there we're gonna pull tight and we're gonna weave through those three beads okay until we're on where we are with the other side right we're gonna go through those three beads do that meet me back Okay, and you pulled tight and you got the little pop. Okay, so now you see right here we have this space. So on each side, we're gonna pick up a bead. So we'll do one side at a time. So we're picking up our bead. Okay, and we're picking up our ring and we're just gonna go down those three beads. I'm continuing. Okay, so continuing down those beads. Come on, sorry, I keep going out of focus. I may have to turn this a different way. Here we go. See, so I went through the three beads. I'm gonna give it a tug and see that little space gets filled. So do the same on the other side and meet me back. Okay, so we're through all those beads and we've hit the holes around our feature bead, okay? So now we're gonna do another knot. Okay, oh, geez. Okay, so I'm coming out right here. So what we're gonna do is we're taking our end and we're putting our end through this space, this big old space that I can't get my thread through. There we go. Okay, so I went through this big space right here, okay? I'm gonna make my loop like I did last time. So I've got a loop. I'm gonna go through it once I'm gonna go through it twice. Come on, twice. 
Okay, now I want it to end up on in this corner. So on this side of the beads. Okay, see so yeah, of these side beads. So I want it in that corner. So I'm gonna pull tight now. And then I'm gonna feed it through those four beads. I want you to do the same thing on the other side, okay? Meet me back. Okay, so I'm coming out. I went down the four and I'm coming out there. Now it's time to cut. Okay. So there we go. Now we're gonna have these little bits of tails, right? And that's where, that's where the lighter comes in because we're just gonna melt See how it melts right up? So see, we've got that one, but the one on this side is totally melted up. And we're gonna do the same thing out here. Don't burn yourself. And that's it, guys. That is your ring. Isn't it nice? So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. I'm gonna put all kinds of links in the um, description. I'll put links for other rings. I'll put links for tutorials. I'll put links for um, things you can buy right in my Etsy store. Yeah, I have jewelry display cards and all kinds of things like that. So isn't it wonderful? I like it. I hope you like it too. Have a great day, guys. Bye now.